and good evening everyone. I made a slight mistake in putting the notice up um, advertising this night prayer so I managed to call the 23rd of May 2020 a Monday and of course it's not it's today it's Saturday so I'm sorry about that hope it hasn't caused too much confusion. Um, the order of service this evening is taken via the uh, Worship at Home booklet and it can be downloaded from our church's website. The readings themselves are taken from the lectionary readings for the day and they are going to be Psalm 47, Acts chapter 18 verses 22 to the end and a reading from John's Gospel, chapter 16, verses 23 to 28. Let us start our prayers with a verse from Deuteronomy, chapter 33. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So let's pause just for a minute before we carry on with this short service. Let's take a moment to reflect on what's happened today. It's been a rather windy and blustery day. The wind is still blowing outside, although the weather has been otherwise quite nice. Blue skies and some sunshine. Let's take a moment just to reflect on what's happened to you today. So with our hearts and minds perhaps a bit stiller than they were, let's continue with our service. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Our psalm today is Psalm 47. I'm going to read all of it. It's quite a short psalm. Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, peoples under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. And we say together, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Like so many of the Psalms, David is encouraging us to praise God with joy. I'm sure we'll get our chance to do that at the 10 a.m. service tomorrow. But praising God is not just about praising him on a Sunday. We think of praise as something we sing or say. And of course, when we do sing our songs of praise, we are indeed praising God. 
But praise is also about giving God the respect he deserves. We may do this with our voice, but we should also praise God with our lives. To praise God with our lives is to accept him as Lord over all the earth and live our lives in a way that honours his majesty. Our first reading today is from Acts chapter 18 verses 22 to the end. Paul has been travelling and he has just returned from Ephesus. This reading tells of the way the early church carefully told the story of Jesus, trying at all times to ensure that his story was told accurately and responsibly. Unlike today, there were no books to record things. Everything people heard was reported by word of mouth. So it was important to the early church that the message of Jesus was not corrupted. Acts chapter 18 verses 22 to the end. When Paul landed at Caesarea, he went up to Jerusalem and greeted the church and then went down to Antioch. After spending some time in Antioch, Paul set out from there and travelled from place to place throughout the region of Galatia and Phrygia, strengthening all the disciples. Meanwhile, a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was a learned man with a thorough knowledge of the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and he spoke with great fervour and taught about Jesus accurately, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue. When Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they invited him to their home and explained to him the way of God more adequately. When Apollos wanted to go to Achaia, the brothers and sisters encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. When he arrived, he was a great help to those who by grace had believed. For he vigorously refuted his Jewish opponents in public debate, proving from the scriptures that Jesus was the Messiah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our final reading is from John chapter 16 verses 23 to 28. And Jesus is speaking to his followers, instructing them on what is to come. Though I have been speaking figuratively, a time is coming when I will no longer use this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about my Father. In that day you will ask in my name. I am not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf. No, the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I've always thought of Jesus as acting for me petitioning God on my behalf. Jesus listens to me and Jesus talks to the Father. At the end of prayers we even use the phrase in the name of Jesus. But this passage indicates that there is something even deeper happening in a Christian's relationship with the Father and the Son. Jesus is telling us 
that because we love Jesus, the Father loves us. God and Jesus are as one in their love for us. Jesus died once for our sins and in doing so he puts our relationship with God right once and for all. We start our prayers uh, with the prayer that we've been using this week, a prayer for Rogation Tide, which was the theme for our last Sunday's service. Remember, Lord, your mercy and loving kindness towards us. Bless this good earth and make it fruitful. Bless our labour and give us all things needed for our daily lives. Bless the homes of our parish and all who live within them. Bless our common life and our care for our neighbour. Hear us, good Lord. Amen. Let's spend a short time now telling God about the things that have happened to us today. Let us ask God for grace in our lives. There may be people that you wish to bring before God, people who are heavy on your hearts. There may be people that you wish to thank God for, people who have helped you. Pray now that God may open your heart and allow the Spirit of God to work within you. So Lord, we want to thank you that you love us because we love your son Jesus. Help us not to take that love for granted. Help us to show that love to other people so that they may wonder what it is that we have. Help us then to explain about Jesus Christ, our Lord, and what he has done for us. We bring before you today the people who are heavy on our hearts and minds. Uh, people who are struggling with ill health, perhaps. Perhaps struggling with being lonely and unable to talk easily with other people. We pray, Lord, that you will show that show your love towards them you will tell them how much you love them so that they know that deep in their hearts and we ask this through Jesus's name Amen Merciful God we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain knowing that whenever danger threatens your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them. Restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O most merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit our, heart, our homes, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace and may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we say together the prayer that our Lord Jesus taught his disciples. 
the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Thank you for everyone for joining us this evening. Please join us again tomorrow morning for the Sunday service at 10 o'clock. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So good night everybody and God bless.